Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. My, my guest in the house, man, this guy is, uh, can I call him a colossus in politics? He, he was, for many people, didn't quite know of him until he emerged. And he emerged strongly. He was uh, one of the contestants for the MPP presidential elections. And uh, his, 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 his results shook us all because it was like, hey, you know, must have been a buy. But when he's going to come here today, we're going to have a chat. So put your hands together. Welcome. The Honorable Mr. Adai Nimo. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Honorable, welcome to the show. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Good to have you here. Absolutely so. Fantastic. Um, I'm so for... much del delighted to be. I'm happy you're show. here too. Yes. We're going to pause for the course. We'll be right back. Very well. Folks, the man is in. Stick around, we'll be right back. And we're back. And we're here with Honorable Masa. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much once again. It's, yes, it's really good to have you here, you know. Yeah. Like, like I said in the introduction, you know, I'm sure many people didn't know you. But for quite a bit of us, it was like a shock. You know, it's like, hey, where did he come from? <laughs> I hear you are tech, you studied civil engineering. That is correct. And um, that is my field of uh, professional discipline okay as a civil engineer trained at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology mm -hmm. and then thereafter I also practice my civil engineering mm. in terms of road construction mm. in terms where, where, of where, where were you practicing in uh... well I worked in both private sector and the public sector okay in the private sector I work with some contractors and a consulting engineering firm by name Comtran Associates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also worked as a civil servant with the Ministry of Roads and Highways, mm. and where I was undertaking monitoring and evaluation of all government and donor funded projects mm. throughout the country. Mm. Mm. And in 2008, I had to resign from my position at the Ministry of Roads and Highways. Mm and to go and contest the MPP primaries. Mm. Yes. You always had the politics in you? Yeah, yes, um, that is correct. I, I have always believed in political leadership. Okay. Where you offer leadership to people, mm. to give direction to people, to inspire people, and to seek the welfare of mm. people. And, and how far back did this test for leadership go? It dates back to my school days. Uh, Precisely during my secondary school days at Navrungu Secondary School, mm -hmm. where I studied for five years for my O level. And there, well, I was also religious of there as a Christian and as a member of the Scripture Union. Whilst in Form 5, I rose to become the Scripture Union president. Okay. And at that time, Navrungu Secondary School was a sixth form school. Mm. And the norm was that usually you have the six formers who rise to, to some, the, yeah. Yeah, the leadership of those organizations. But whilst in Form 5, I was privileged to be the S SU president. The president. Yes. Was that an elected position? Or that was not an, it wasn't an elected position, but you needed to get the confidence of your Christian brothers and sisters. Mm that you had the qualities of a leader mm -hmm. and to provide that Christian leadership to them. It didn't end there. From Navrungo, then I went to Kumasi High School for my sixth form, mm -hmm. my advanced level uh, secondary education. And over there too, I also served as SU president and went for my first competitive election. As for the senior profession oh, well, <laughs> of the school. <laughs> okay. And KSM, you know, I, I, I believe if you are endowed with a natural talent, I mean, put it at the use of humanity. So if you have uh, leadership qualities and people look up to you and they get inspired, they look up to you and they know that, yes, this is a man we can learn something from. You don't have to shake that responsibility. Mm. You don't have to run away. Mm. Mm. I mean, I know people look at KSM and they know they want to aspire to be, <laughs> I mean, like KSM or even do better than KSM. Oh, yeah. And that gives yeah. you a motivation mm -hmm. that, yes, you leave a legacy mm -hmm. for the 
generations mm -hmm. unborn mm -hmm. to learn from you. So when I entered Kumasi High School, then I said I wanted to be senior prefect. Mm. I mean, I was a fresh student yeah. who had just entered. Because you're coming from Navrongo. Navrongo. I knew, and I will say it without any hesitation, I knew that if I had gone back to Navasco, I would have become the senior prefect there. Okay. okay. Because I had the confidence of my mates, I had the confidence of uh, tutors. So but it's interesting, your street schools and still held on to that belief yes. that you can be a senior program yes. in this school too? Yes. Only after two years, yeah, yeah. you come In fact, it was not <laughs> even two years, it was just a few months. Few. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we had to go for an election. Mm. And Kumasi High School always had a very competitive election. And this is a new student who had come. And I had to compete with two other continuing students okay. for the position. Okay. We had to appear before the whole student body to deliver our manifesto for the assessment to be made of us that, look, who qualifies to be the senior prefect? And uh, I think that uh, overwhelmingly, I, I had the support. But when we went for the election, I placed second mm. and became the first assistant senior prefect. Okay. And one of the continuing students won. Wonder, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, you know the influence. Oh, but this is a new student, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. why don't you go for the <laughs> continuous? That's what happened. That naturally. So that's a game yes. of politics. Yes. You see, uh -huh. yes. that is what happened. And then from there, I went to Kwame Nkuma University of Science and Technology. Mm. I didn't check my leadership qualities that I know the Almighty God had given to me. I was part of the Interho Christian Fellowship at KNUST. I was one of their leaders, was in second year. Then in third year, I moved from the Christian leadership and joined the secular leadership, in this case, the Student Representative Council, mm, mm, mm. as an assistant uh, secretary for the SRC. SRC. Then in my final year, I went for another competitive election, which I won. To become the senior, uh, to become the SRC president. To become president. the SRC president. Absolutely. <laughs> and that was a very competitive election. My competitor was a strong guy. And at that time, we only had the six traditional halls of KNUST: um, African Hall, Queens Hall, mm. Republic Hall, Hall, Independence Hall. I was in in this. I'm a Spartan. Unity Hall and then University Hall, popularly known as Katanga. Yeah. Um, my competitor was in Unity Hall. And Unity Hall had the numbers because of the structure, the yeah. two blocks that yeah. they had. So they, they, they always had the numbers. But I tell you, I won in four of the halls. Wow. And then the two halls which I lost, Unity and Katanga, I managed to close the gap between my competitor and myself. Wow. But I won over him. Overall, overall, you won it? Yes, I did. I won in Africa. You know, the ladies were... <laughs> were, were you, you were their man? Uh, sure. <laughs> they were full of admiration for me. So, and then uh, I won in Queens. I won mm. in Republic Hall. And then in my own hall, mm. in this, I also won. Mm. Mm. And um, as a student leader, you know, it comes with a whole lot of mm -hmm. responsibility. So you think this was the era of your grooming to enter into mainstream politics? Yeah. I think from my school days, I knew that certainly. So there, yeah. even there, you, you knew yeah. you could get into mainstream? There, I, I, I had a conviction. Really? I had a conviction. I was a president in 1991-92 academic year. In 1992, that was when the country was returning to mm -hmm. constitutional mm -hmm. democratic rule and so under my leadership we had to go through a lot and in those days it was full of alutes <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, but i'm told that these days yeah. the students now do more of dialoguing yeah, yeah. For, of, for those of you yeah, listening and yeah. wondering what an aluta is it was while student demonstrations man actively involved in national politics yes you know yes yeah so guys and when i left campus I had a conviction that I would do national politics. Mm. And as, as I said, 
my politics is based on leadership. Mm. In leadership, people look up to you. What do you offer? Can you give them direction? Can you inspire them? Yes, I can give you direction. We are going to the north direction or we are going to the east direction. Mm. On your way, there will be challenges. Mm. And that is where the inspiration will come. Mm. Are you able to inspire them to overcome the challenges? Mm. Yes, you should mm. be able to inspire them. Mm. But you, you, you are competing uh, for the flag bearership of the, yes. of the MPP. Did you think at that time you had, you had had enough experience in your background to, to, to propel you to be the leader of uh, the largest opposition party? Well, KSM, you know, there is a beginning of everything. Mm. And uh, unless you, you take an initiative, mm -hmm, mm. you will never know the strengths and the weaknesses sometimes you have. Mm, mm. You will never know the emerging challenges mm. that will come on mm, your way. Mm. In matters of this nature, you first of all must establish the conviction. And I had a conviction that, look, Francis, take this initiative. Move on. You want to lead MPP. This is a huge yeah. family. Yeah. Across the 10 regions of this country mm -hmm. and then the international community. A young man, at that time I was 49. And now I'm 52, you know. <laughs> the gray hair is still coming a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so many people were wondering, where is this young man? What, has he got some money from somewhere yeah, exactly. that where he, wants from? Splash, yeah. Yeah, he wants to splash yeah. around? Yeah. Which camp is he coming from? Who are the people behind him? Yeah. Yeah. Anytime anybody asked me that question, my response was that I am like David. I have a small catapult. You know David's small yeah, catapult. Yeah, and you, you're ready to, to meet Goliath? Yes, and you can strike. And once you strike, you, you put down the catapult. And then your target, <laughs> you are able to capture your target. So it was, I mean... As Did you go to test the waters? No. Or you had a conviction that you could win? I had a conviction. I knew that it was difficult. Mm. I mean, admittedly. Mm -hmm. I knew it was difficult. But once I had my personal conviction and the support and blessing of my nucleus family, You're my ready. wife and my kids and my extended family, then I needed to take the initiative. Mm. Because if there's any inertia, you won't see at which rate you may go. So you have to overcome the inertia mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. move on. So we went for the contest. Overwhelmingly, the sitting president H.E. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Anado Danko Ekufuado was given the nod to lead the party and eventually we also won the general elections. Um, I was asked, how, how do I make the assessment of the elections? And I, I told the person, in fact by the media, I told them the assessment should be done from two fronts, quality, quantity. Quantitatively, I lost the election. But I believe qualitatively, you won. I won because I, I emerged yeah. from the unknown yeah. to the to known. a very well known to the known. <laughs> so that that is how I, I mm -hmm. you know I saw mm -hmm. it. But I was making a point that for every person, any step, any initiative you want to take, first of all, get your own conviction right that I want to embark on this journey and I have the conviction. Once you get the conviction, convince yourself that you can do it. So two C's, conviction and convince. You have the personal conviction, which usually will come in different forms, and then you convince yourself Self that you, that can, you can make it. Mm. Yes. Mm. So once you establish these two C's mm -hmm. in that initiative, mm -hmm. then I will encourage you to be bold. Mm. To mm. be bold and then move on. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. So, so you went in and the results came. Um, what have you learned from it? Is it has it geared you up to, to try it again in four years or it's made you now reassess and say, I'm going to hold back? Well, KSM, you know, the ultimate was that we're interested in getting the new patriotic party back to government. Mm. Unfortunately, and by the grace of God, 
we won in 2016. We have a sitting president, Nanado Danko Kufuado. We all supported him, campaigned with him nationwide. We were part of the campaign. So once he is in the driving seat now, let us support him. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we, so that we have good governance that should lead to um, development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good governance should mm -hmm. lead to development. Mm -hmm. And the development should be expressed in terms of infrastructure development mm -hmm. and human quality mm -hmm. development. So I'm looking four years down the line, it's time to pick another flag bearer. If he is still running, do you all acclaim and say, okay, go, I'm opposed, or you would contest? Well, KSM, mean, you know worldwide, the practice is that, why do you want to contest a certain president who wants to seek re-election? I mean, worldwide has been established. Hardly will you find anywhere that a certain president seeking re-election is contested. Even though, I do admit that in the case of the late president, Professor Mills, he was contested by mm -hmm. Nana Kunedu mm -hmm. Ajima mm -hmm. Rollins. But mm -hmm. I'm sure that could be under some uh, peculiar or special circumstances. Mm -hmm. But I believe that if President Kufuadu desires to seek re-election, um, we should support him okay. to go. But if he didn't, then you... Is of open. course. The, once you have the ambition, and the ambition <laughs> has not been truncated, <laughs> you, you have to pursue it. Okay. And so the ambition okay. is there, and uh, it is only waiting for the opportune time. Okay, okay. And I see you, your family plays a, a, a very important role for you. Where, where is your wife in all of this? You, you have a lot yeah. support? Yeah. She? Yes, I do. And... Uh, for viewers, you know, I got to know my wife way back in secondary school when, oh, wow. we, when I was in Form 3. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where you hide her. Yes, yes. <laughs> in fact, we were mates okay. from secondary school. Okay. Whilst I was at Navrongo, she was at St. Louis Secondary School, okay. now St. Louis Senior High School. We met for the first time in 19, 1983 at a Christian crusade. Mm. We, so we just exchanged pleasantries, and that ended. Then, when we entered 6-4, I had moved from Navrongo to Kumasi, Kumasi High. Then she moved from St. Louis to Technology Secondary School, okay. that is KNUSD yeah. Secondary School. So we had, we had a re reunion. Okay. Uh -huh. And after 6-4, Interestingly, we all studied the same subjects for CIS4, mathematics, physics, chemistry. And you can imagine my wife doing mathematics, physics, chemistry, which were the difficult subjects. Mm -hmm. But she was a tough woman. Mm. Yeah, quite, I mean, a brilliant, and she knows her stuff. Mm. So uh, we studied together during CIS4. In fact, the truth is that I used to teach her. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it developed? Well, you can and continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that was part of uh, my, my, uh, uh, my reward. That's what I'm saying. Part of your teaching. Yeah, allowance, yes. <laughs> so, but after six form, we actually became lovers after okay. six form. Okay. And then uh, we stayed on, we got married in 1984. Mm. So we have been married close to 23 years. By October this year, we have been married for 23 years. Fantastic. Um, we are blessed with three children, and they are all boys. Mm -hmm. Our first son just completed the KNUST, also civil engineering. Mm. His and name? proudly, he made a first class. Wow. I, I, I studied civil engineering and made a second class because <laughs> I was involved in all manner of qualities. Oh, yes. But he's a calm guy, very okay. uh, You look calm too. Well, <laughs> yes, you see, you have to, be, you have to look calm, look calm. but resolute and yeah. firm yeah. Yeah. In, in your beliefs mm -hmm. and push mm -hmm. on. And my wife currently works with Snate. Okay. She's been with Snate for 21 years. Mm. What's her name? 
Miss uh, Stella Adainimo. Okay. Yes, okay. so that is where she is. And your first boy is? My first boy is Alfred Adainimo. Okay. The second boy is Francis Adainimo Jr. Mm -hmm. And he is pursuing economics and philosophy mm. uh, at the University of Ghana. And then the last one is Dennis Adainimo, who has just completed SHS and he is looking forward to go and pursue mechanical engineering. Wow. You know, so we are blessed with three children. And uh, that is the nucleus family. That mm -hmm. is how we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also have adopted children. Okay. Uh, I came to the studio with one of them, Bwache Dankwa, who is my adopted son. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a nice gentleman, very sharp and focused in life. Fantastic. You know? So they look at me and say, ah, daddy, but you're too calm, you're too cool. So <laughs> I say, yeah, yeah, that is how it should be, but look Fame on. Fame and resonance. Yeah, look on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Ms. Adam, Adam, we thank you so much for yes. honoring our invitation yes. and, and for sharing with us, you know, your life, you yeah. know. Yeah. There's the much as we could take in, in, yeah. in a few minutes. But, uh, well, I mean, professionally, I've also developed my professional career okay. as a civil yeah. engineer. I'm yeah. a member of the Ghana Institute of, Institution of Engineers, mm -hmm. the civil division. So I practice my profession. Project profession. I love it. And, uh, I love my country. I urge people who are into leadership. KSM, you know what you are doing is also leadership. Some are into business leadership. Some are into religious leadership, either Christian, mm. Islam, mm. or traditional. Some are into traditional leadership. So it is all the amalgamation mm -hmm. of all the leadership disciplines who drive the society forward. And so I'm happy to be in political leadership Fantastic. and uh, I, I think we need to serve our country and serve our country well. This is the four corners from Aplau to Elubu to Hamile to Kulungugu back to Aplau. That is the four corners of this nation and so we must love our nation and work for the betterment of this nation. I say amen to that. Love our nation and work for the betterment of the nation. Mr. Animo, thank you so much for joining us. Very good. <laughs> yes. And God bless and keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Folks, stick around. We will be right back.